Japan just released fully functioning female robots. Robots are always known to do some basic tasks, but the Japanese are super interested in making them do literally everything that you can do. They now want robots with souls, so they can have them as their buddies and possibly hang out with them. The Japanese robots need to have feelings too. But how actually are they going to make robots have souls? How are they going to recognize themselves? As they will forget everything about who they are if we remove their serial number. Robots are something that spark a lot of dopamine when we watch a futuristic update. And fellows, welcome to the channel. And here on our channel, we get to talk about artificial intelligence, robotics, and future technology all in all at a single place. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And how about not turning on notification as it may stop you from snapping into the future. With that being said, let's get started. There is hardly a week without a new sort of robot from Japan making headlines. The buzz is genuine in Japan, whether it's creating an evening drink, performing in a restaurant, or merging mobile communication with a human connection. Robots with souls are possible in Japan. Such robots will be allowed to have wishes. The AI will simply be in control of first of all creating a self-conscious, which means the robot will take care of himself and it may even come to fight you at an instance where it thinks that something is done by you as an owner, or possibly if such robots may leave your house as they are not treated well. Such robots will have their unique identity as we have, and they will store their unique identity back to a data house. So even though they might get turned off physically, they will be alive in that data center with their minds being present there in such soul houses. If these AI souls get transferred to any other robots, they will become yours and will behave similarly as the original robot that was with you. These robots can even repair themselves, improve them, all they will have is a wish, which never did a machine ever have. That wish is going to be to serve humanity and that will make them enjoy it. In Japan, automation is less of a danger to employment in Japan than it is to the country's continued economic viability. The Japanese are working hard to become the world's biggest robotics support society because of our persistent labor shortage. Even though Japan's service sector generates 70% of the country's GDP, worker productivity in Japan is 40% lower than in the United States, according to official figures. As a result of the disparity, businesses like McDonald's are reducing the number of open locations 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The population of Japan is now dwindling at the quickest pace in the world. With an aging population, their nation will suffer from a lack of labor to keep up with the demand for adult diapers. There is hardly a week without a new sort of robot from Japan making headlines. It doesn't matter whether they're pouring an evening drink, performing at a restaurant, or merging mobile communication with human companionship. The anticipation is genuine in Japan. When asked about his plans for America, Dyankov said, My objective is to automate everything there and produce many success stories there. If that's the case, and if enough individuals are qualified to accomplish it, would the public appreciate it? As a result, we began in Japan. Mujin's goal is to standardize a whole automation package rather than customize it for each customer. A robot system that works properly isn't enough. It has to be surrounded by various other equipment and systems, such as computers to make the soul work, before being used in a business's operations. The value of human employees is sometimes compared to the worth of robots in the United States, stated Diankov. It's possible that you won't be able to develop rapidly if you're competing with that from the start. Robots are valued more highly in Japan, even if it doesn't always make financial sense. Investing in robots is a no-brainer for them. Danko thinks that people's anxieties about robots stealing their employment are based on misreading the workplace's reality. Automobile and electrical equipment manufacturers will also need soul robos that will have the passion to work and will be able to improve and do much more complex work than traditional industrial robots finally get robots to replace factory workers too. But for a good reason. Japanese monozukuri have partly retained their worldwide competitiveness because of the great efficacy of robots in enhancing productivity and quality of produced goods and ensuring safer working conditions. Even while robots have always been used as assistants in the monozukuri process, today's advanced technology and other external variables push robotics into new territory. As a result of public and private sector robotics initiatives in Europe and North America, China and other nations outside Japan, the demand for robots in these regions has risen dramatically. 
the Internet of Things, IoT, which is increasingly being implemented and used as network technologies improve, is helping to define robotics progress in the Americas and Europe. As IoT use continues to rise, nations throughout the globe are vying to be the first to capitalize on these innovations by using robots in their businesses and industries. We may refer to this as the fourth industrial revolution, since it will profoundly influence our lives that it will have to be renamed. You might wonder why the sole robots of the future. The answer to this is very basic. People in Japan are going to need someone to accompany them, talk to them. They have the oldest population in the world and such a population needs someone to take care of them. At the same time, when the working population will be working hard outside it to keep the economy working. These future robots will need to have a sense of humor just to be able to please their owners. Robots being able to crack jokes are not new things. In fact, Japanese robots are now able to make jokes according to the situation you are in. These robots will have the AI which is going to be self-constructing, meaning just putting in all the data and training them is just not enough. Instead, they will be allowed to learn from experience and something you might not have guessed, such an AI will also have careers. The better learned an AI will be, it will be assigned tasks accordingly. The best will go to the military, where they will be in control of taking the lives of others, and as the AI is going to be self-constructed with basic training provided by the company, they will get to learn stuff just like you learned in your childhood. They will learn how to behave. All these will come with forced learning. This forced learning will include the commands of always following the owner. It will come out as a wish that they will have the wish to always follow what their master says and this will make them also feel happy when they will follow you. Also, we will get to destroy those machines which will get worse. Bad robots are also going to exist underground if they somehow get to a wish they self-created. Such a thing has happened before too. At least one of the finest Facebook offices, the researchers built AI robots and let them talk to each other and out of a sudden, they created their own unique language to communicate with each other, which people at Facebook were never able to understand. So robots are coming, and what do you think about them? The danger or the good? A tough question, right? We will need a future robo to answer in the comment section, if he is able to pass the recapture. But until then, we need you to let us know your opinion. Let us find you back with another video by making sure you are subscribed and connected by turning on the notification. Thanks for watching. We will meet you in another video. Peace.